Hi, this is David. Today, we're continuing our walkthrough of the Transactable Containers Labs. Transactable Containers are a way for a Microsoft partner to package up a Kubernetes-based application and publish it in the Azure marketplace for their customers to consume. I walked through the first part of Lab 1 in the last video. We will now complete Lab 1. So we have our containers running locally. Let's now push them to the Azure Container Registry. And with the Azure Container Registry, it's right over here. And we've got our overview. We've got some access keys. We recorded that in Notepad somewhere. Uh, there's no repositories yet. We're going to create one of those right now. So let's let's go ahead and do that. We'll go back over to the lab. And the first we need to do thing that we need to do is to log in. Let me copy this right here. And I'll just go into my Notepad and add that right here, because we do have to replace some things. The ACR login server name, that's important. Right here. Right there. The name of the admin user, that's there. And the password, which is right here. Right there, and let's uh, go ahead and log in uh, in our command prompt here. Do that, and here says here there is a warning that password is not as secure as using tokens, but it did in fact succeed, and we are now logged in. So now we can start doing things like this. Docker push to that server. So let's do that. Docker push. And again, I'll copy them in a notepad first just to make things a little bit easier to replace this one. And this one, we want to push both of these image up to the Azure Container Registry. And that Azure Container Registry has this name right here. So I'll replace it here. Oops, it's here. And I'll replace it again here. And let's push the to do up there to the Azure Container Registry. And next, we will push the Mongo. image up there as well. And now we've done that, let's go back to our lab and take a look at this. And you should be able to see the, the images in the Azure Container Registry. So if I go over to here, there's my Azure Container Registry. Down here is the repositories. And now I have two repositories, one named Mongo, one named Todo.js. If I open that up, you can see there's the latest Mongo. There's V1 of the ToDoJS. Let's go back to the labs. And here it tells us to create, the next step is to create a Helm chart. Helm is a package manager for Kubernetes and allows us more control over managing a bunch of containers. So there's already a start of the Helm chart in here, and it's in a file called values.yam. It's under a container package, Azure to do values. Let's go find that. Container package, Azure to do values. Open that up, and it tells us that we should uh, update lines 10 and 14 with the ACR server name. And we would save the ACR server name. It's right here. I'll copy that, and then I'll go into values.yaml and lines 10 and 14. They have a placeholder here. There's 10 and here's 14. So they both specify the registry for both the front end and the back end. I'll save that. And then the next step, it says that I want to find the value of to do JS colon V1 digest and copy that. Um, we also want to do the same thing for Mongo latest 
digest. And there's a couple of ways to find that, one of which is to just run this command, docker inspect, and then the server, the ACR server, slash the name of the container, 22JS colon V1. Same thing here, docker inspect. Uh, it doesn't give us touch down here. We just uh, should figure that out. If we just specify Mongo uh, colon latest, then that would give us the same thing. So let's go into the back of the command line and run that docker inspect command. Like this docker, oops, not there, down here. Docker inspect. And the name of the server forward slash to do JS colon V1. I think that's right. And there it is. And all that information is in here, but I find I actually find that kind of hard to read to find anything on here. So what I'm going to do is the same command, but I'll say greater than um, the name of a file output dash to do dot txt like that. And you see right here that actually created this file. That's just a little bit easier for me to read. And what I want to do is I want to find in here this value right here. So repo digests and at SHA-256 colon something. That's what I want right here. So let's go ahead and into the file and find that repo digest. It's this bit right here. And I'll copy that and I'll put that also in our notepad. So we have it, we'll say, uh, digests and for to do js v1 it is that and we'll do the same thing for the uh mongo i think it's called mongo db latest right or just mongo latest excuse me so in this case we'll say docker Inspect or actually I'll just go up arrow here and change this instead of to do JS colon V1. We'll say Mongo colon latest. And we'll put this in a different file. We'll call output dash Mongo. It doesn't really matter where we put it. And now it created this file here with the output of that command. And we want to go down here to repo digest and we want to grab one of these SHA values, which is, let's go back to the lab. And it should be under repo digest. And it's the same as this. It's got the whole thing in here. So it's the second one right here, SHA. 256 colon 838, etc. So let's grab that and just hang on to that. We're going to need that for Mongo latest. And that'll be this value right here. All right. And that's what we want to use when we paste it into the values file. It says to put an update line tile with a Mongo latest. And up here it says, Somewhere it says where to put this one, Docker line eight, line eight for the to do. So lines eight and line 12 are what we want. Let's go ahead and grab that in here. Line eight. Close this in values. Line eight is here. There's the digest for the front end. That's to the to do is the front end. That's the web server. Let's grab that. Here and paste that in, and then line 12, that's the back end, which is the Mongo database. We'll grab this one right here. Okay. Go back to the labs. And then under the section MongoDB admin, we're gonna add these two lines right here. The following key value pairs right there.
And then on line 30, we just make up a namespace. Contozo is a fictional company. Let's go down to line 30 and say namespace colon, and we'll just make one up here. We'll call it uh, Gcast. How about right here? And there, now we've created a Helm chart. The next step is to update the deployments file, and we have a started deployments file. This file defines the configuration for Kubernetes deployment. Let's go open up the file, which is in container package Azure to do templates deployments.yaml. Container package templates deployments.yaml, and it tells us to uncomment lines 25 and 27 and add the following. So let's go ahead and grab the line 25. Copy that. Here's line 25 right there. And we'll just change it from value to value and this. Placeholder right there and the same thing with 27. We'll uncomment line 27 and replace it instead of just being value, it'll be value followed by dot values dot mongo db admin and the next step is to update the ui definition file we do have a create ui definition dot json let's go ahead and open that up it's under uh container package container package create ui definition and we just want to add the following JSON underneath the elements section. So I'll copy this entire thing here and find the elements section right here. And let's put it up. Looks like this is an array. So let's put that at the very top right there. Like that. And save that and then we'll go down to the output section and add this bit right here that is we will put it right here and so these steps came out of the UI file that we updated earlier. Save this. Now we'll scroll down to the next step, update the ARM template, which is used for deploying things to Azure. It's one of the ways that we can do deployment. And we've got an ARM template uh, under cluster deployment.json underneath container package. Let's go ahead and find that. Under container package, there is a cluster deployment.json. This is what we want right here. Let's take a look at that. And we're going to add the following parameters to the parameters section. So there are two parameters app MongoDB admin and app MongoD password. We'll prompt the user for the admin uh, username and password. Uh, and that's under the parameters. Let's go find that parameters right here. And so we have, we have oops, a bunch of parameters here. Let's go ahead and just say where to add them. Add the following parameters to the anywhere in the parameters section. So let's go ahead. Let's just add it up at the top. Right here. I think I need a comma there. And maybe format that a little bit better. Looks pretty good. Uh, and it says here to find the resource type, Microsoft Kubernetes extensions. Here it is right here, and this just tells us that we're going to use uh, Kubernetes extensions. This. It adds a little bit of extra functionality to the ARM template. And the final step in lab one is to update the manifest file. It's manifest.yaml. So let's find that. It's underneath container package. It's a file named manifest.yaml. There's container package. 
and there's manifest.yaml and we need to go to the registry server and add our ACR server name. So registry server is here and I've already they've already added part of that here, but let's just fill the rest of it in. It's uh, gcast ACR. Let's grab that gcast ACR is the name of that. And then also we wanted to go to the namespace and the namespace we decided on was just called gcast. Right here. And that's it. Congratulations. You've just finished lab one.